Hey everyone, I'm Cameron Hall. We begin with a major decision by Hillary Clinton to reset her campaign again. Her aides tell the New York Times the former Secretary of State will show more humor and heart. Quote, there will be no more flip jokes about her private email server, no more rope lines to wall off crowds, and new efforts to bring spontaneity to a candidacy that sometimes seems wooden and overly cautious. The Clinton campaign reset will also include more TV interviews, including one with Ellen DeGeneres that will actually air on Thursday. All of this comes with a new Mammoth University poll just out showing Clinton now at 42% among Democratic voters nationwide, down, by the way, 10 points from a month ago. And Vice President Joe Biden is now second at 22%, up 10 points from last month. And Senator Bernie Sanders now showing up at third with 20%. Meantime, our new NBC News Marist poll out this weekend shows Donald Trump beating Hillary Clinton in Iowa, 48% to 43%, while Joe Biden would beat Trump. These numbers, 49% to 45%. MSNBC's Alex Seitzwall is covering the Clinton campaign. He joins us live now from Washington. So, Alex, let's dig behind this idea of more humor and heart. What does that mean? Well, Tamron, there comes a point in almost every presidential campaign when the going gets a little bit rough and people call for letting the candidate shine through more, getting the, the, the strategists and the polls out of the way. But you don't want it to come quite this early. I mean, Clinton has had a very rough summer. She went from being the unquestionable, indomitable front runner who had basically frozen out the entire Democratic field to now seeing her numbers dropping 10 points in a month. That's a little bit scary. You have Joe Biden waiting in the wings, uh, ready to jump in the sitting vice president who her campaign says would be a commanding presence in the race and you have Bernie Sanders who, who did not even expect himself to be in this position giving her a real run for their money so on one hand we'll see her being more humorous more human perhaps less calculated she uh, more accessible she did Andrea Mitchell on Friday our mm -hmm. own colleague she uh, had an interview with the AP this weekend she's sitting down with ABC's David Muir today yeah. and then Ellen DeGeneres and, and Jimmy Fallon on the other hand she'll be striking a more contrite tone on our emails. No jokes there, Tamron. All right, Alex, thank you very much.